you can now add Microsoft Loop components into the Microsoft Whiteboard, which is an extremely useful feature. You can add things like task lists, you can add tables and voting, you can add checklists, you can add progress trackers. And what happens when you add a loop component is that that component is an independent object. That means you can share that loop component in any other application like Microsoft Teams or in a post or in a Word document. And anybody making changes to that loop component will see their changes reflected anywhere where that loop component is embedded, like Microsoft Whiteboard. Let me show you. So here I have a Microsoft Whiteboard with a number of loop components, and here you can see I have a progress component. If I go to see who has access to it, I can go into the web browser. This brings up the loop component for my organization, and any changes that somebody makes here, so I'll go change here, will be reflected in the loop component over on the Microsoft whiteboard. You can see that change is automatically on the whiteboard. I'll open up a new whiteboard here <clears throat> just to show you how I can add these loop components. These should not be confused with templates, by the way. Templates live on the whiteboard, whereas a loop component Think of it like a little window into a component that can be shared in multiple locations. So if I go into a loop, if I go into my ellipse down here, I now have loop components as an option, and I could add something like a table, for example. When I add that table in there, I can make modifications to it. So it'll add this loop component for my organization into the whiteboard here. And maybe this is going to be ideas for our hike. So we're going to go for ideas for our hike, and I could put in an idea idea and maybe column one will be I'll call column one will be the idea and then column two will be something like who's going to be in charge of it so I'll call that the owner of that particular idea or the person who will take ownership of it so we'll go in there so the idea might be something like s'mores because everybody likes some s'mores when they're out hiking and the owner of that I'll take ownership of that I'll go and get the ingredients for the for the s'mores. And now that is an embedded component. If I go up here to he see who has access to it, I can go in and I can see who is in my component. I go up to the loop table here. I can go in and see this in my organization. So in my case, my organization is very small. It's just an organization of me. So I'll go in here and you can see s'mores is there. And maybe the next thing will be campfire and we'll put our good friend Hank in charge of the campfire. So we'll put Hank in charge of the campfire and you'll see if I go back to the whiteboard that change is already there. And if I say no Hank, we've seen what happens when you're in charge of fire. I better take care of that myself. So I'll put Frank in here. Apparently typing is something that Frank should. And if I go back to the loop component, you can see it's automatically reflected. So you can see that's a way of collaborating where people can use different applications, but I can land it right on the whiteboard. I can land it wherever it needs to be and changes are synchronized with Microsoft Loop and Microsoft Whiteboard. Collaboration just got even better.